Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is Peter and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you the basics of making a local multiplayer game using the new Unity input system by hooking up multiple controllers to the same game and have more people join in and play together. I'm gonna use one PlayStation 3 controller and the keyboard, but you can do it with more controllers and I guess just one keyboard, but that's not the point. And Bear in mind, this is not a new input system tutorial, so I won't go over everything with extreme detail. But if you would like to have one, please hit me up in the comment section down below and let me know. Also, if you find the video interesting or useful, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to my channel as it helps me out a lot. And let's get right into it. The first thing we want to do is go to the package manager, scroll the Unity Registry packages, locate and install the input system package. I'm using version 1.0.0 which is the up-to-date version at the time of the recording and I guess things will still work with later versions but I have no way to know yet. During the installation Unity will prompt you to restart the editor, click yes as doing so will replace the old input backends with the new one allowing the input system to work. Once the editor has restarted I will create a new input actions asset and name it controls or whatever I want. Then I will open it and create a new action map with a new move action that returns a vector2 value and it's bounded to the left stick on the gamepad and the WASD keys on the keyboard. Here is where you will have all your input actions, I'm just creating this one for the sake of the tutorial. Then I will create a white cube that will act as our player object and will perform the actions after receiving the player's input. In the inspector I will add to it the player input component that comes with the input system package and assign the input actions asset we created earlier to the actions field. For performance reasons I will also change the behavior to invoke Unity events instead of send messages because send messages is way slower. Now I will create the player controller script that will hold the code for our cube's movement and I know I said there would not be any code involved but this is where your game zone code comes in place and mine is just for testing reasons. Just a note here, when writing code for the input system, remember to keep the input system in mind and that's where the callback context parameter for the move function comes from. In the inspector with your player object selected, click on the events drop down in the player input component and after that on the one named after your input action map. This will reveal the Unity events for the actions that you have created and simply assign a new listener to the one you're using I will assign the move function from the player controller script to the move event from the player input. And to check that everything is working so far, I just hit the play button and press the WASD keys to make the cube move. Alright, it's working. Now onto hooking up multiple controllers, let's make a prefab out of our player and delete it from the scene. After that, we want to create a new empty game object, I will call it player manager, and add a player input manager component to it. Now it's just a matter of dragging our player prefab to the player prefab field in the player input manager component, and the game's done. Please bear in mind that the object you use as a player prefab must have the player input component in order to work. Now let's enter play mode and once the game is running I will press a key on the keyboard to have the first player join in. And as you can see everything is working properly and it's moving around. Now I'll just press the button on the PlayStation controller and as you can see a second player has joined in and every player is being controlled by its controller. As far as gameplay I guess you will have to do much better than me to have a playable game. But these are the basic principles behind making a local multiplayer game using the new Unity input system. That's it, I almost forgot to record an outro, but here we are. So if you have any doubts regarding everything in this video or any requests in general, please let me know, leave a comment and I will try my best to help you. And in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.